Hey everybody, this is Don over at Johnny's Used Cars, and I'm sure this 2011 Subaru Impreza wagon that just came in. It's got uh, 80, almost 84,000 kilometers on it, which is about 52,000 miles. Let's take a, uh, before we take a look around, I'd like to let you know that we do have on a lot discounts. Uh, so the price you see on the website will not be the final price, okay? Uh, so definitely stop on by. But yeah, let's uh, go ahead and take a look around. We'll show the features inside. But first, I'd like to ask you to please watch the video until the end. I do go over a lot of information in my videos, gonna answer a lot of your questions. So things like the road tax, the JCI, the warranty, I cover all that and more. So please bear with me until the end, you'll have all the answers. If not, go ahead and contact me or stop on by. The Subaru Impreza, uh, it's actually a sport wagon, is a five passenger vehicle in the 300 series category, so the larger category. Uh, road tax per year is gonna be 19,000 yen, which is about 160 bucks right now with the current exchange rate. And road tax is due every April, May timeframe. So we'll take care of it for you this year, you won't have to worry about it till next. Now you do have two ways to pay for it, US dollars cash out right, which could get you a larger discount, or you could uh, take advantage of zero percent finance for 24 months with zero down. Yes, we don't have a down payment requirement, but if you want to put something down to reduce your overall monthly payments, you can. A lot of our customers do like 500 to 1,000, and a lot of people, some people do more. Before we go inside, it was like showing the rain guards. Rain guards will allow you to roll your windows down a little bit. This way, if it rains, it's not going to get wet inside. More important feature benefit is it'll give you the cross ventilation and get that extremely hot air out, and always get yourself a good windshield visor. And one more thing before we go inside, this does have the slots on here that if you want to put uh, crossbars, uh, if you need to haul stuff or whatnot, you can do that as well. All right, so let's jump on inside. Get this started. All right, make sure the seat is on the back. Well, it's actually really, really nice. It's got this red stitching on, on everything. Well, let's turn this radio off. It's got to download first. But let me just uh, stick this in, show you the 83,713 on, on the odometer. Audio. Audio off, sorry Troy. A uh, couple of warning lights there. Uh, that one right there is your uh, seatbelt one. Make sure you wear your seatbelts. They do give tickets on and off base. And then that circular one, my, my hand. All right, sorry. Uh, that one right there, emergency brake. Uh, it's not a low pressure tire gauge, like everybody thinks, uh, but it's a handbrake. So when you disengage it, it goes away. Engage it, it comes right back on. All right. Other than that, it's a very simple, straightforward, straight ahead instrument cluster. Everything pops up on a dash while you're driving. Please pull over, find out what it is, take the necessary action as I adjust this seat. Um, off to the left here, uh, you have your uh, little display here. It's going to show you the outside temperature and the uh, time. Uh, you do have your um, well, radio here. This one does have a rear camera. Then you have your air conditioning controls, a power outlet, a little shelf right here, maybe for some cords or whatnot. You do have your shifter, uh, handbrake as I told you about. Uh, cup holders this one does have an eco mode so if you look in the middle you see that green one so if you want to uh, have eco mode on to save a little extra gas you can and then it does have this uh, little console here and it's going to give you an extra power or no that's not an extra power outlet oh yeah it is no that's just a hole sorry some it's optional to come with an extra power outlet oh, so this one did not have it and then this is going to not close all the way it's just they all do it uh the the um uh what do you call that I forget what you call it, but the, the hinge, the hinge uh, kind of gets loose, all right? But continuing on to the left, you do have this uh, two-tier uh, glove box, this down here, then a uh, little compartment up here for some uh, books or whatnot. You have a little uh, storage and cup holder on each door panel. And then that is your passenger space over there. You got your red rope floor hanging out. And this is the space I have on my side. The seat is all the way back, all the way down. And I am 5'11", as everybody loves knowing. Um, yeah, I can drive it as is. Uh, maybe slide it up an inch or two if, if need be, but I'm very comfortable right where I am. Okay, um, let's go eye level. Hold on, let me adjust this just a little bit. Okay, that's my eye level right there. Really can't see anything of the hood. Past the windshield wipers. Go on back. And before I go on back, I'm going to do this. This is all black on the uh, top. It's really, really sharp. A lot better than the uh, the very, very, very light tan or gray that they used on the previous models, okay? Uh, or um, But it's 2011, a lot of 2011 so far have this, okay? And it does have an aftermarket, um, um, what you, who is it, uh, dash cam, okay? Now normally there's a time I showed an auction sheet showing you that this is a non-accident vehicle for mainland Japan. Please keep that in mind, non-accident vehicle. Um, a lot of dealers can't say that, we can. But because it's been, uh, it hasn't been detailed yet, I keep those inside the office. Once it's been detailed, I'm gonna put it up here on the sun visor on the driver's side, okay? So you can see exactly what we saw. All right, show you a couple other things before you go to the back seat. You do have your mirror controls along with your um, your uh, door locks on the, uh, on the door panel here. And then you do have your mirror controls off to the right side of the dash. 
please don't forget down here you do have your gas cover release and then a little pocket a little uh, pocket for some uh, coins or whatnot and then to get to the um the hood you just gotta follow us all the way down all the way back all the way down until you get to it okay and that's your hood release so let's uh turn this thing off and go to the back seat it's actually pretty clean for a dirty car all right i mean look at this this is nice well, we've been getting rid of these these have been going out all right so with the seat all the way back all the way down uh i'm about two and a half maybe an inch and a half to two inches away from the back of the seat to my uh knees uh nothing as far as storage on the back of the driver's seat but you do have pocket storage on the back of the passenger seat as always be careful what you put in there you don't want to rip it on the sides okay then you have a little bit of uh storage and cup holder on each door panel all right and then this does have the good old armrest that stays level which i like and down here as well you have cup holders all right let's put that up let's go to the back here Now look how clean this thing is really really clean all right and there's your space now you can um i'll do this one just pull up that little knob and push that forward and you'll have this whole space open just a really really nice amount of space okay and let's go to the front here and then we're going to show you the engine compartment then wrap this video up come on there you have it nice and clean this is a two liter boxer engine. And if you want to look at it more, just please pause the video. I'll, I'll leave it right there for you. You can pause it right now. And there you have it, 2011 Subaru Impreza wagon, the new body design. It's got 80, almost 84,000 kilometers on it, which again, about uh, 52,000 miles. Military price goes down to 5,200 with additional military discount. We'll get it down to 5,000 flat. Again, while you're here, please ask the information guys about on the lot discounts. Uh, again, the price you see on the website will not be the final price here, okay? But for now, the 5000 is going to include a two-year JCI, the one-year bumper-to-bumper full warranty, uh, which I'm going to touch on in a second. The 2022 road tax and the 10% sales tax is already included. The only thing on top is going to be the American insurance requirement, whether they go on liability or full coverage, which is totally up to you, and we can assist you with that here. Going back to the warranty, yes, we do have a one-year warranty. Um, I know there's places that have two-year warranties, but they're not the best thing since sliced bread. So definitely stop on by, and we'll tell you why. Um, don't forget, uh, we do encourage you to shop around, go out to the dealers and Lemon Lot, see what they have, but definitely stop by Johnny's Used Cars, let us show what we have and how our program can assist you. We are definitely making a difference because we are different. Stop on by, we'll show you why, just like we have many others. Uh, don't forget two ways to pay for it, US dollars cash outright, or take advantage of zero percent financing for 24 months with zero down. Either way, we're good to go. So thank you very much for watching, take care, hope to see you soon.